been a great Christmas week out here guys we had Joel's brother Doug and his wife Louisa and their baby Jake who turned one this week had them all out here for the whole week and it has been awesome we have been baking all the treats and processing Doug's big dough and Doug decided because he's gonna drive it back to Denver to turn it all into jerky and <laughs> I think we're gonna show you we um, came up with this awesome marinade and the jerky's been turning out great. We're on like our fourth batch trying to turn an entire dough into jerky for the big trip um, back west. So that's been fun. And then last night, can you see? We got six more inches on top of five inches the other day. Um, so it was a great day for sledding. So we're gonna get some good sledding in. So when we go up deer hunting, we have to climb this giant hill uh, when it's completely dark. It's really challenging for whatever reason to find the trail here. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm putting these little tiny reflectors. I don't know if you can see those things. These little reflectors. And when I shine that, my red little headlamp on them, they give me just enough of a, a heads up or a flash that I can kind of see more easily you know, which way to head. Somebody brought a snack up here on the plateau. She's still looking pretty good. Yeah, I was kind of interested to see what's been coming up here, you know, post rut. I uh, just want to see what's up here. We can only take uh, does at this time, but um, just be nice to check out and see what type of activity has been coming around. So as you can see, there's a ton of action on the trail cam up at the deer stand. And surprisingly enough, we checked the camera down at the campsite and there wasn't a single um, deer image captured on that camera. So Joel and Doug are definitely gonna be hunting up here at the deer stand this week. All right, Doug, what'd you get? Oh, I found myself getting a uh... A goal this morning. <laughs> <laughs> about uh, very healthy. About there, uh, fifteen minutes after uh, daybreak. The first light. First light. Uh, yeah. What time? First light was at seven o three. We found the deer at about seven o five. <laughs> waited a little bit. Yeah. Took the shot. At seven fifteen ish. Yeah. And this pat, where literally he shot it right on the path. Look at that shot placement. The thing dropped, didn't even suffer for half a second. Dropped it right on the path. And there's the deer stand. It's about, I don't know, what is that? 40 yards? Yeah. Yep, it's probably 30, 30 yards. 40 yards, yep. Using uh, the old 30 out six. The Browning. Browning. X bolt. My very first deer. Looks good. Hey everybody, it is December 27th, so we still have some Christmas happening here, and presents everywhere, and today is also my youngest's birthday. She's turning six, so we have a party set up and Christmas. Um, and at like 7.30 this morning, Joel's brother Doug got a dough, and he got a dough, it was up at the deer stand actually, with their nice heater going. Um, so we're gonna go out to the garage and see the dough. Let's go check it out. Skin it. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm excited to try that method. That's going to be great. <laughs> you agree, Jake? Yeah. What do you think, Jake? <gasps> what do you think about Daddy's deer? How clean! We just finished my sister's pulled pork and my sister's homemade mac and cheese for lunch. And we're still full, but we have homemade cinnamon rolls from the local bakery coming, boy, like in an hour or so. So we're out having to walk. My sister-in-law, Louisa, my nephew, Jay. Hi. We gotta go take a hike so we can get hungry for the cinnamon rolls. <laughs> That's our biggest problem yep. over Christmas, is getting hungry enough for the next thing. A while back in one of our videos, I mentioned that we were having a mouse problem out here in the garage and that we needed some cats. So I think as soon as I said that, Joel started researching a different option <laughs> that was not for cats. So look at this, look what he found, this is so cool. 
It is some kind of electric mechanism that you plug into the outlet. It flashes that red light. I've got one here. And it emits some kind of frequency that the mice hate. So check out, here's another one. I've got one here by the workbench. Every time it flashes, it's emitting some kind of electromagnetic signal that's driving away the mice. And you can see two more over here flashing. One by the ax there, and then one by the electrical panel. And it kind of makes like a perimeter, a ring of this electromagnetic whatever. I don't know exactly. I should get Joel on here to talk about it. But since we plugged them all in, no signs of mice. So, so far so good. No cats for now. Well, Doug and I, right now we're working on the back straps, getting off all that fat and all the silver stuff here, getting them nice and clean. The butchering's going really well so far. We've got a pot going for jerky, a pot going for stew meat, and these back straps are looking great. We think we might eat one tonight. What do you think, Doug? Oh, yeah. Well, we got the dough all processed and we got it all butchered into some really nice roasts and to some nice tenderloin steaks. And now all the small pieces here, we're turning into jerky. And this marinade, they've been marinating for how many hours? Uh, about six hours or so. Six hours. Let me zoom in on this marinade. This is amazing. It it's smells good. Teriyaki and brown sugar and honey and soy sauce and Worcestershire and red pepper flakes and pepper and... Did I say brown sugar? Brown yes. sugar. <laughs> it's going to be delicious. So it sits in here for six hours, goes in the dehydrator, and then over there you can see there's several more layers. We're going to put on about six or seven more layers and then dehydrate it for, well, I'm gonna keep an eye on it, maybe 12 hours, maybe longer. We'll see what it needs. We're gonna make some awesome venison jerky. And if you want, I'll put the recipe down below for the marinade, sure. if you're looking for a good jerky marinade for your deer this year. Well, All right, we'll let you know how it turns out. The mom said I could, but then you disappeared. YouTube is hearing you whining. You said this morning. It'll be silenced. I'm gonna be doing like rocking out music doing this, like. Nice little bass line. Jerky, 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 jerky. Okay, so it's the next morning and the jerky has been drying overnight and you guys it turned out absolutely fantastic it's a teriyaki marinade and if you don't really enjoy the taste of venison you will love this because this tastes exactly like beef jerky the teriyaki beef jerky that you would get from the store for like eight dollars a bag this is fantastic um, and we've unloaded the machine this is how much you're gonna get um, for five pounds of venison and this is just the extra meat that was cut off around the roasts from the shoulders and um, just the extra little pieces. And it is so good that my brother-in-law Doug is considering turning his entire deer into jerky because he has to drive back to Denver in a couple days here. And they're trying to think about how to get the meat back. But this recipe turned out so fantastic. Um, that he just wants like 10 pounds of jerky to have all winter long. So highly recommend it. The recipe will be below. I hope you love it, especially those in your family who are like, oh, you got another deer. I don't like venison. <laughs> they will love this for sure.
it okay? You don't want the extinguisher? It looks under control. I think it's still gonna be delicious. Smile for mom. Oh, and look at you by the tablecloth. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Here's the littlest. There she is. Oh my goodness. I cannot even handle how cute this is. Still, let's see. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. So, since UPS changes drivers pretty frequently, especially around the holidays, you have to play find the package. You never know where they're gonna leave it, if they're gonna come down the driveway a little bit or leave it up by the street or put it on a boulder. So we have to play, let's find the UPS package. Oh, I see it. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy got creative. This is the first guy that didn't leave it in the snow. Yeah. This is a nice walk. Going straight here. On the tracks. Well, that's it for this week out here at Stone Hill, guys. Joel and I are so glad you decided to stop by and see what we were up to on this special Christmas week. Um, it's probably the best week of the whole year, getting to be with family and getting the deer and just all the fun sledding and making treats and just a really great week. And we're so glad we got to share it with you guys. And we hope to see you back here again next week. Take care, everybody.